she rock this beat. going on youtube it's your boy richie ruckus we are back here today it is sunday march 15th day x in this whole covid 19 scare pandemic crisis whatever we are in the middle of and as i touched on in yesterday's video i'm trying to make the best of a bad situation and you know i know a lot of people are secluding to their homes and i think that's the right move but, you know, having work and, and, and stuff like that, like, forces people to leave the house. So, if, if I'm going to be leaving the house, I'm going to be grabbing new sneakers. And we jumped into a review yesterday of the Nike Dunk Low Kentucky. And we're going to be moving forward with another Nike Dunk Low that dropped yesterday. But before we jump into this review, smash that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to my channel. Make sure you go follow your boy on all social media platforms. And leave comments down below. I, I, I'm trying to engage more with my audience. I'm trying to, you know, defeat this YouTube algorithm and, and you know, and try to get these the subs up over 5,000. You know, just try to get the views up. That being said, I'm not going to waste any more of your time. You know the drill. You know why you're here. Let's get a glimpse of these Warlocks. We have the Nike Dunk Low in the Syracuse colorway. I touched on this yesterday. I let you guys know that I was getting them. And kind of the same to be said for the Kentuckys. You know, nothing really different. Nothing new. No innovative new technology. It is just a Nike Dunk Low. It is not an SB. It is, however, an SP. And we got the thin tongue. We got the orange laces. We got that buttery, creamy, orange Syracuse colorway. Followed up with the white color blocking. White midsole orange bottom nike orange insole orange nike branding on the tongue white nike branding on the heel and th there's nothing new to be said about these it's it's a it's a nike dunk it's a nike dunk low these were to commemorate march madness and like i touched on yesterday i think these are going to be somewhat of a collector piece i know the resale market was kind of like fluctuating yesterday they were going from like 250 to 300 in my size they are they retailed at $100, and they are true to size. The one thing I didn't touch on in yesterday's video that I did kind of notice, and I notice it blatantly on the Syracuse colorway, and I, I scoured the internet, I, I did some research, and I seen a lot of people complaining that the quality control on these was not top-notch. And my Kentuckys, which I still have on right now, kind of had some leather scratches on the white part of the toe box, and I noticed right here big as can be under the swoosh a, a leather scratch and, and this isn't a fault of the retailer this is definitely a fault of nike's quality control i've seen other people complaining about this who didn't get their sneakers in philadelphia who didn't get their sneakers from the same place as me some people you know got them directly from reputable places just like myself and you know, it, it, it's sad that I guess Nike was just trying to, you know, produce as much of these and get these out as quick as possible for March Madness, which ultimately has been canceled due to the COVID-19 crisis. And, you know, maybe do a little better quality control next time and not try to rush a product out. But there's definitely some factory defects. And, you know, it's it's sad to see that, um, you know, Nike wasn't on their P's and Q's with doing quality control on such a coveted beloved sneaker that being said i'm still excited to get them and it, it doesn't make me feel a, a negative way towards the sneaker or have you know a negative view on nike as a brand uh, their quality control has been shoddy you know left and right for years now but i wear my sneakers i put the miles on them i you know i beat the brakes off these dogs and they're going to get scuffed. They're going to get destroyed. I'm not one of these people who obsess over cleaning their sneakers. I'm not one of these people who obsess on keeping their sneakers in glass cases to display and to, to show off their sneaker collection. I wear my sneakers. You guys know that if you've been an avid viewer of this channel. Kentucky Dunks went right on feet yesterday, and I already see some scuffs on the midsole from when I was doing the pictures. And if you are following me on Instagram, which I have already suggested that you do, I'll have some pictures going across the screen right now how I threw together the Kentucky Dunks with a, with a vintage polo bathing suit 
and a dope, 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 super dope Mac Miller t-shirt. But we're going to bang out an old foot of these and we're going to go, you know, get back to seclusion, I guess. Isolation, quarantine, whatever this is to try to prevent, you know, my household from contracting this COVID-19. And, and, you know, with me being, you know, the age that I am, I'm, I'm sure it's something that I could get and, you know, defeat easily. I may have even already have had it and, and, and conquered it and not known. You know, if you remember, a lot of people were getting sick back in December and early January, and it felt like the flu and, and it was, it was bad. I know people weren't feeling their best around them. Maybe it was the flu. Maybe, you know, coronavirus was already here and we didn't know we weren't being tested. You know, no one really knew anything. So, I think the fact that we now know it is here and we now know that it is affecting our day-to-day -day life is what's causing this pandemic. But regardless, practice personal hygiene. Wash your hands, sanitize, you know, cover your mouth when you cough. And you know, wash your hands again after you cough. You know, keep it safe. You know, people got to get out there and work. You know, we aren't on, you know, Italy and France are on like complete lockdown. We're not on that. We got to get out there and live our lives but still be safe and smart about it. But this is a sneaker channel. This isn't a medical channel this isn't a political channel i'm going to keep buying sneakers i'm going to keep doing sneaker reviews and i'm going to keep banging you guys with videos let's just hope that everybody remains safe let's hope the professional collegiate and high school sports get back because your boy is running out of stuff to gamble on they just shut down the rivers casino here in philadelphia formerly known as the sugar house atlantic city which is still open to my knowledge which i was just at on friday and i have um me and they have a weekend plan there this coming weekend, which, you know, may get altered based on everything. But we're going to go bang at this on foot. I'll be back later this week with some more videos. I'll probably upload them more frequently, keeping you guys in the loop of everything that is going on here at the Ruckus household. But on foot, be back later this week with some more videos. Until then, I'm Richie Ruckus. Peace! The number you have reached, 911, one, one, has been changed. Three.